I've um, just released my 20th book. Uh, but do you know what? I owe everything to that guy there. Uh, what I mean was, if I'd never watched Paul Sykes at large 10 years ago, I would never have thought, I'm going to start writing books. Um, I've I've really thoroughly researched him, um, well, to the point of, um, cream, to the point of uh, three Amazon best-selling books and now being signed to be a, a film and a documentary. But a lot of people... When they meet me, they're like, "What was, what was, what was he really like?" Um, listen, I never met him, um, but I met a hell of a lot of people who did. And, I, and as I said, I, I thoroughly researched him, um, and some of his antics were unbelievable. Um, you know, it'd, it'd be like if you walked into a pub, everyone knew who he was, and even if you didn't know him, you knew what he was about. Um, he would often go and be locals and even if he wasn't nasty, he'd be very loud, which would put a lot of people on edge. And uh, a lot of people have said, you know what? A lot of the times he was humorous. You couldn't help but laugh at him. Um, you know, every, every most of the things he said, it, it, they were very kind of, you could tell he was well read. You could, you know, if you were sat in the corner at a pub having a pint, you, you knew he knew what he was on about. Um, yeah, you know, da Daz Payne said, like, if he walked into a pub in Wayfield, the place the place would literally empty. Very much like Lee Duffy in Middlesbrough, who I've also researched quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> and do you know what? At times, Sykesy would single-handedly single someone out. Uh, it could be a man, could be a woman. Young lad, he didn't care. It depends what mood he was in, and um, I mean, Darren Daz Payne talks about he what he he once walked up to one of his mates who was easily as tall as Paul Sykes, so that was six foot three and a half, and uh, and he, he what he done is he slapped him across the face, and um, when the guy got up, Paul basically said to him, "I'll give you a lesson there. That's a lesson in life." To keep your hands out of his out, out your pockets, and then he just sat down as if nothing had ever happened. Uh, I've spoken to so many people over the years, um, so these would particularly be when the young kids and they see Paul Sykes asleep, and he shout, "Kid, come here!" So this young kid would go over, and uh, Paul Sykes would say, "Get your fucking hands out your pockets," and go back to sleep. Uh, you know, some of his some of his antics were unbelievable um, and very, very funny, albeit I imagine extremely scary if you were on the other end of it. But um yeah, there's oh listen, I, I don't think there'll ever be a time, certainly in our lifetime, when Paul Sykes is not spoken about, certainly in West Yorkshire and particularly in the town of Wakefield. Um it's coming up to the tenth anniversary of his death. I released the first book. Sorry, the 10th, so it's come to the 15th anniversary. I released um, Unfinished Agony on the 10th anniversary. So now it's the 15th and um, that's the year when the film and the documentary is going to be made. So I imagine that will probably be out maybe next year or the year after. But um, Paul Sykes, listen, what a one-off. What, what an interesting guy. Uh, he was in the paper a couple of weeks ago and he was in the paper yesterday and um, the, the Daily Star actually quoted myself. Um, I, I put a video on a, a couple of weeks ago um, and the paper, the Daily Star, actually quoted me word for word. So as I said the other week, that's the sign of the start of the build-up, the film, the documentary. And, uh, and now, at the moment, Paul Sykes is just known as that kind of bit of a lunatic talking about punching sharks in the ear hole. But um, there will come a time in the next couple of years when he's big news and, uh, you know, he's, he's a poster in the bus stop advertising the film. Um, he's at Leicester Square on the red carpet. You know, it. I, I think it's going to be as big as ever. But, of course, 
it depends on how good the film is. I've got no idea. Um, but obviously, it's been made by proper people. And I do know who's going to play Paul Sykes. And uh, when that gets released in the, in the spotlight, people will be like, wow, same age, dark hair, put a moustache on him. And it's like looking at Paul. So uh, some really exciting things to come. And uh, the Paul Sykes story's got legs yet. It's really, really going to grow in the next couple of years. But um, that's just a few little bits on... Um, Sexy's antics, you know, people have said, was he really as crazy as that? And, uh, you know, I, I've just released 20 books now. And um, as I said, it all began because I got an interest in that fella. Wanted to know what happened to him. I found out he died, but I couldn't quite work out what happened to him from that documentary. Uh that documentary was released on December the 4th, 1990. Found out he died March 7th, 2007. So 16 and a half years. How did he get from that guy who was extremely scary to the person he was, the vulnerable adult who could hardly walk and walk with a hunch over and, you know, was um was the subject of just the butt of everyone's jokes. Uh day to day lived a, a humiliation just uh you know was it karma I don't know. I know a lot of people have said it, but um yeah it's it's quite unbelievable to think, hang on a minute, how did that happen? And uh obviously I've done the books and I think I describe it as you know Cinderella uh, at the stroke of midnight around the millennium uh, his, his wife left him 99 sorry his parents died within 12 weeks of each other at the back end of 98 his missus left him 99 uh, and that was that and that was him and you know he was in Stanley Royd 2001 and very much you I mean he was ravaged from 2002 um, but the, probably one of the most famous pictures of Paul Sykes when he's got the jazz hands and he's got about eight coats on and he's got a beard on. That was taken in November 2004. So he lived for another two and a half years after that. And you think on that picture, you couldn't fall any harder from grace. It's, it's not possible. But it was. It really, really was. And um, it's going to take a really incredibly skilled skilled actor to portray the role as Paul Sykes. Let me tell you that now. Um and I spoke to him a couple of years ago. He was in Panto and he was reading the book Sense. So he knows he's going to put weight on, practice a Yorkshire accent, do a bit of boxing training. But uh, yeah, this guy, I think he's actually about 42 now. And uh, the film's going to start from 89. So that would be when Paul Sykes was 43. So, excuse me, perfect timing. Um, uh, and the guy's six foot. I know Sykes was six foot three and a half, but... Uh, yeah, it's amazing what these film directors can do to just actually get the character just exactly how it should be. But um, there's a few wee bits of um, Paul Sykes' antics and his character. Uh, I spoke to someone many years ago, um, very, very well known. And he, he uh, I'm not going to name him, but he, he, he said to me, he said I was there one day. And he'd make someone, he'd walk in the pub and he'd say, you're buying me a pint, you're buying me a pint, you're buying me a pint. And uh, slowly but surely, when the hard man image gradually faded, people weren't scared of him as they once were. Uh, <clears throat> you know, um, he, he, you know, it's, it's well known that to one of his favourite pastime games was to make people stand up sing Baba Bar Black Sheep or Humpty Dumpty. Uh, Paul was never blessed with um, patience at the best of times. So someone was in front of him and talking a load of shit. You, you know, he, he, he just didn't suffer fools gladly. And, um, you know, not many people intellectually were on a par with Paul Sykes. So, um, you know, if you, if you weren't adapt to his way of thinking, he was, you know, get lost and a bit more volatile and uh, violent than than just doing something like that. 
But um, but yeah, listen, Paul Sykes is going to become huge news in 2022. Uh, COVID, touch wood, looks like it's disappearing. Um, so I, I think it's all ready to go in the summer. And uh, how big's a piece of string? No idea. But um, I just think it's got the potential to be absolutely huge. Uh, and and I, I owe Paul Sykes so much because without his story... I would never have wanted to walk into it and start writing books and be involved in documentaries. And um, so I always, I owe him, um, as I said, I would never, I would never, I, I come across the story when I was 32 and I was like, what the fuck have I just watched? Spent three years wanting to find out more. And in the end, I just took my jacket off, put my pint down, just went... Walked into the story, walked into Sweet Agony, the book, walked into Paul Sykes at large, met most of the characters. And um, 2022 will be the year when the film and the documentary made by, uh, I nearly said his name there, uh, I nearly said the actor's name, Vaughn Civil's Western Edge Pictures. They're made Oscar Pistorius. They've made the Joe Calzaghe film. They've done stuff with Billy Piper. Um Revenge, British horror, so uh, proper serious filmmakers, and uh, yeah, it's over to them now. I'm finished with uh, the Paul Sykes story. There's there's a documentary. There's six books. Uh, so I'm responsible for one. Rob Brenton done that one. Uh, Matt Oakley done. Yes, Paul, and of course Paul Sykes done. Sweet agony. So um, I'm looking forward to sitting back and. Uh, watching somebody else portray Paul and uh, helping the story live, help the legacy, whether you like, whether you despised him, hated him, you shouldn't be happening, or you met him once and you opened his can of beer and he was nice, or, you know, you met him once and he spat at you, or he was shouting obscenities, or chasing cars up and down, or talking to the pigeons, you will always remember that meeting with Paul Sag. I would have loved to have met him. But uh, unfortunately, I never knew who he even was till five years after he died. But um, 2022 looks like it's going to be the year the Paul Sykes story comes back alive. So I think there's going to be more stuff on Sykesy. Um, he's going to come back from the grave and put a bit of limelight and attention and expose, exposure on the city of Wakefield again in death like he did in life. So don't forget to click and subscribe. God bless. And thank you for your interest and support.